listening to Cruising the Blues with me, your host, Mr. Jack. I'll be your chauffeur and guide as we cruise through the highway in various regions of the blues on our ultimate blues tour. I hope within the next hour and in subsequent shows I can introduce you to the blues in its many forms. We'll take a musical road trip and cruise the many waters of the blues from the early 20th century through its evolution to today and where it's headed tomorrow. So join me this next hour as we start cruising the blues. Fasten your seatbelts, here we go. Yeah, you got me looking gravy, baby. I keep an extensive reference library of books and magazines in relation to the subject matter of blues. Hence, I make mention of these references to give my stories their validity. <laughs> Today, we're going to look back at another great name in the world of blues that once again many are not familiar with, yet in my opinion they should know about. James A. Lane or known in the Chicago blues world as Jimmy Rogers. Not to be mistaken with the early blues yodeler Jimmy Rogers, spelt Jimmy with an I-E instead of a Y, or known as the singing brakeman. This is the Jimmy Rogers of the Chicago blues music fame, and one who was on the feature story of now defunct Blues Review magazine in its number 14 fall issue of 1994, and also on the cover of Living Blues Magazine number 135, which was their September-October 1997 edition, shortly before Rogers' passing in December of that year. The opening lines in the Living Blues Magazine article by John Anthony Brisbane stated, There has been few forces in post-war Chicago blues more influential than guitarist James A. Lane, better known as Jimmy Rogers. Rogers wasn't simply an early enduring partner of Muddy Waters. He gave the slide playing Waters pointers on finger picking and tuning. Similarly, Rogers not only brought the enormously talented Mary and Little Walter Jacobs to play harmonica with himself and Waters, but also trained the wild teenager to perform in a band context. Author Brisbane closes his opening statements with this The best post war Chicago blues band and the prototype Chicago blues sound was in large part designed and refined by Jimmy Rogers. Let's start off with some singles Rogers played guitar and recorded with Muddy Waters, along with other major players in the Chicago blues scene at the time, bassist Willie Dixon, drummers Elgin Evans, Fred Bilo, and Francis Clay, pianist Otis Spann, and harmonica players Little Walter and Junior Wells. All songs cut in the late 1940s to the mid-1950s. We'll start off with Standing Around Crying, followed by Mad Love, I Want You to Love Me, the infamous Muddy tune, I'm Your Hoochie Coochie Man, and we'll end with The Young Fashion Ways. The late Chicago bluesman, Jimmy Rogers today, on Cruising the Blues with Mr. Jack. Standing around crying Oh baby Look how you got me Standing around crying Resting on my mind Oh baby I ain't gonna be riding around in my automobile Be 
riding around in my automobile. That you may get me killed Oh baby You ain't nothing like you used to be you to love me to the house that on yeah. I want you to love me to the house that on my head yeah. I want you to love Tell you no, I wished I was dead. The gypsy woman told my mother before I was born, I got a boy charge coming. He's gonna be a son of a gun. He's gonna make pretty women's. J 
jump and shout Then the world wanna know What this all about But you know I'm here I got a black cat bone, I got a mojo too, I got the John the Conqueror, I'm gonna mess with you, I'm gonna make you girls, lead me by my hand, then the world will know, the hoochie coochie man, but you know I'm here. On the seven hours, on the seven day, on the seven month, the seven doctors say he was born for good luck, and that you see, I got seven hundred dollars. Don't you mess with me, but you know I'm here. Young horse and fast, 
Going back to that 1994 Blues Review Magazine number 14 article, I found a lot of history and obscure stories that I'll tell you, you just won't hear about or find unless you have access to these older publications. In 1994, Jimmy Rogers was celebrating his 70th birthday and was still playing over 200 dates a year. Jimmy is actually quoted as saying, I still enjoy playing for the people. It's been a long time since I've had a week without gigging. If I sit around my house too long, I start itching to get back on the road and play the blues. Rogers started playing with Muddy Waters in the late 1940s in what was then known as Jewtown, where Rogers lived, and they performed on Maxwell Street. Rogers stated in the interview, Muddy came to Chicago with a suitcase. He didn't have a band. Rogers goes on to recall how his cousin Jesse Jones introduced Muddy to him and they became friends right away. He went on to tell how Muddy was playing primarily bottleneck slide in the styles of Sunhouse and Robert Johnson on a hollow body Gretsch guitar with a stick on DeArmond pickup. And he used a Coca Cola bottleneck until he lost it, and then Rogers stated that Muddy would have rather lost $100 than that piece of bottleneck. Muddy had tried a lot of different bottlenecks, but nothing seemed to work as well as his Coca Cola one did. He finally ended up using a steel slide but he said he never did get that piece of steel to work for him like he did using that bottleneck. As he and Muddy got in with the Checker Chess labels and were recording, Jimmy Rogers was also recording his own material after those sessions with songs that were hits like That's Alright, Ludella, Walking By Myself, and others. Let's get into some of the songs of Jimmy Rogers, starting off with the three I just mentioned. Hey, you're listening to Cruising the Blues with me, your host, Mr. Jack. Thanks for joining me today. You told me, baby, once upon a time, you said if I would be yours, you would sure be mine, but that's all right. I know you're in love with some other man, but that's all right. Every now and then I wonder who's loving you tonight. You told me, baby, your love for me was strong. When I woke up, little girl, half of this big world was gone, but that's all right. I know you don't love me no more, but that's all right. Every night, then I wonder who's loving you tonight. Nothing like you used to do, but that's all right. I know you don't love me no more, babe, but that's all right. Every night, then I wonder who's loving you tonight.
Baby, don't you hear me calling you? Lute, Lute, Baby, don't you hear me calling you? Lord, I don't try so hard. Baby, trying to get along with you. Now, nah, Ludell, you know I'll pay your house rent. I give you everything you need. I wake in the P charge it, baby. You know how to swell. Trying to keep it clean, but Ludell, Ludell, baby, don't you hear me calling you? You know I done tried so hard Baby, trying to get along with you Knock me some racket, man You know I work in your peace charge it, baby I get you everything you need Ludell, you know I pay your house rent, baby You know I'm any time I need But Ludell, oh, Ludell Baby, don't you hear me calling you Now you know I done tried so hard Baby, just trying to get along with you. I do walking by myself. I hope you understand. I just want to be your love.
can I do? Walking by myself, I hope you understand. I just want to be your loving man.
Musician harmonica player Tom Townsley, who got to perform with Rogers a few times, wrote a side story in this 1994 issue of Blues Review and reflected on a couple of stories that Rogers had told him. Rogers stated that he was the one who had bought Little Walter his first drink, a screwdriver. Prior to that, said Jimmy, Walter's favorite beverage was carnation milk, right out of the can. Also, Little Walter loved vanilla wafers. Rogers told him about the time that Howlin' Wolf and Willie Dixon got into a fight at Chess Studios, emphasizing like two elephants rolling around. And there was a time when Good Rock and Charles failed to show up for a studio session and was replaced by Big Walter Horton, who laid down the now legendary solo on Walking By Myself. When asked how he got into Chess Records, Rogers answered, Sonny Land Slim was the first guy to put Muddy on wax, and myself as well, because he introduced Muddy to Leonard Chess. Chess was scouting for blues musicians, and he'd used Eddie Boyd and several of the other guys playing around Chicago at the time. Sunnyland was on the label already. He didn't ever make it big, but he knew Chess and was his talent scout. And in fact, Sunnyland, to my opinion about the whole deal, really was supposed to have the position Willie Dixon got, but he didn't. Dixon had a little more school training than Sunnyland did, so he got on in there and knocked Sunnyland out. It's stories like those a person isn't going to find on a general web search. I love stories like those. Some more of the music of James A. Lane, more commonly known as Jimmy Rogers, on Cruising the Blues, with me, your host, Mr. Jack.
live across the heart I hope to die I hope to die Please hug Please hug Please hug And squeeze your tight Because I won't have a baby This week Fire and night Hope Fire and night I feel I feel Tears pouring in my eyes And if you don't leave me, babe I'm gonna break that down and cry Right down and cry
Rogers made mention of some of the younger up-and-coming blues players that of the time, stating, I'm still here doing the blues, holding that style of what she's referring to as heavy blues, in portion as best I can, teaching the younger blues players what it's all about. It's very simple to me because it's just soul and feeling that's deep down in your heart, a desire, you know? So it's no problem for me. I see a lot of up-and-coming blues players trying to get it, but you know in my style of blues right now, where are you going to find a musician? Muddy Waters can't be replaced. They can imitate it, you know, but never duplicate it. So I'm the same way because we created that style of music in Chicago and it's something that's in you. It's like salt and pepper that you put to it that other musicians can't reach. They can outplay me as far as execution and running up and down the neck and stuff, but that sound is hard to beat, yeah. Jimmy Rogers also played on a lot of other records. One song was that of Little Walter's theme song, or the one he was readily identified with, was Juke, which I'm going to play right now. And also, Rogers had the opportunity to record an album with a number of great artists called Jimmy Rogers All-Stars Blues Band, Blues, Blues, Blues. Artists such as the late Jeff Healy, Eric Clapton, Mick Jagger, Jimmy Page, and many others appeared in this album. Unfortunately, Jimmy Rogers passed away just before the completion of the album, and then it was released two years after his passing. We're going to close out today's show with a few cuts from this, his last recording. Hope you enjoyed the show today. This is Mr. Jack. And I'll be back next week with some more blues for you. Till then, take care. Have my baby by my side. Well, when
when the sun rose this morning, I didn't have my baby by my side. Well, I didn't know where she was. She was out with some other guy. Down the moon looked lonesome, shining down through the trees. Ah, down the moon looked lonesome, shining down through the trees. Don't your arms look lonesome when your baby's packing up to leave? Yeah. Back to me. Hey, blow wind, blow wind, blow my baby back to me. Now if I don't hurry up and find her, my heart's gonna be in misery.
Better than anyone I've ever seen. 